Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian and welcome back to the Beginning C Sharp with Unity screencast series. In this episode, we'll be reviewing everything that we covered in the last section, control flow, and I'll also be introducing you to your next topic, object-oriented programming. At this point in the series, you should feel pretty comfortable with the language. You can make choices based on data passed into your program, which is the essence of all programs. We start off this section by discussing conditionals. Conditionals, or if statements, is a means to provide branching into your code. Does this player have enough gold? If so, they can buy a sword. Otherwise, the merchant gives a snarky response. Next, you learned about the ternary operator, which is an operator that works like an if statement to set a variable. Of course, when you have if statements, the concept of scope must be covered. Scope determines how variables are accessed, and later, you'll learn how it will affect memory management as well. After scope, you learned about the switch statement. The switch statement can be thought of another type of if statement. It's a way of branching code based on a value. Next, you learned about constants and enumerations. Constants are variables that don't change, which can be good in some circumstances, as you wouldn't want the number of days to change in a year, so long as you lived on Earth. Enumerations provide a limited set of values which read very easily in code. Finally, we jumped into the world of loops. C Sharp has many of them, which tasks you with initializing an iterator, setting a condition, and incrementing it. A for each loop is a great loop to work with collections. You don't need to worry about iterators, rather you just get items out of the collection one at a time. Lastly, a while loop runs so long as the condition is true, and the do while loop is the same, except the do while loop body will occur at least once. As you can see, that's a whole lot of stuff, but we're only just getting started. And now at long last, we find ourselves diving into the world of object-oriented programming. Object-oriented programming is a way of approaching your code. You create individual objects that have both state and behavior. State describes the current condition of an object and behavior is what that object can do. For instance, you may have a warrior. The state of the warrior is the name, hit points, and strength. The behavior is when the warrior can attack, move, or give a battle cry. You'll be starting object-oriented programming by learning about structs. Next, you'll learn about access control and namespaces. This determines how code can access your object. Next, you'll learn about methods so you can add behavior to your objects. If you can think of structs as nouns, you can think of methods as verbs. Properties are a way of writing to fields. They essentially save you time in coding, which is always a good thing. And at long last, we'll conclude this section by covering constructors. Constructors are a means of building your objects. This is just the beginning of object-oriented programming in C Sharp. It may not seem like a lot, but it's the gateway to leveraging Unity to create some awesome games. Well, I hope you enjoyed this screencast. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next section.